Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be tying a fluttering caddis variation. In the vise I have a size 12 dry fly hook. For my thread I'm going to be using a nano silk in color olive. To get things started I'm going to be laying down a thread base starting about three quarters from the eye of the hook. And I'm going to lay that down all the way about to the uh, to the bend of the hook. To tie in our abdomen, I'm going to be using a super fine dubbing in color pale morning done. For this, you want a nice uh, tight noodle. Super fine dubbing makes it very easy to do this. And then as I get towards the middle of the hook I'm gonna to want to build a slight taper and I'm just gonna put a touch more here For the wings, you're going to want to get your clean stocked elk hair. I have mine here in a bleach color. And then I want that to go just slightly past the bend of the hook. I'm going to do two light, loose wraps before I tighten it down. And that should be fairly secure now. That looks good. So I'm just going to nip off these tag ends. For that, I like to use serrated edge scissors. I find it makes it very easier. And now I'll come in and clean these up as best as possible. I'm just going to build up a little bit of a, as you can say, a thorax section so that the hackle will, will lay uh, nice and even. For the hackle, I'm going to be using a light dun rooster. And even though it's a size 12 hook, I'm going to be, I brought this down. It's actually down to a size 14, even probably 16. And I'm just stripping off the ends here. And I'm going to tie that on with this exposed stem. On a slight angle. A 
leaving that stem somewhat exposed for my first wrap and that'll help keep the first wrap really clean. Now I'm gonna start wrapping my hackle. I'm gonna move forward here with just really close touching wraps. Secure that in. Gonna clean up this little straggler here. And now I'm trying not to trap too many fibers, just locking that in, building a small little head. And now I'm ready to finish this off. I like to use a half hitch tool on my dry flies, um, even the smaller nymphs. I just find it uh, keeps the head clean and less risk in trapping down the fibers. Okay. Now that's ready for a shot of glue. Just doing some spot checks. There's one elk here in here I don't like. Nothing the trusty tweezers can't handle. But that's it, folks. This is a size 12 fluttering caddis. Hope you learned something. Uh, fantastic little fly uh, that does wonders on the water. Uh, great tie, uh, I guess a great fly for people just getting into dry flies. It's quite simple, um, very little material. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you tune into the next one. Cheers.